Hey guys, and welcome to my classroom. Welcome back to 12 days of Vlogmas. I really hope that you can see me. I forgot my tripod and um, I'm kind of like hunched over. So if I look like the hunchback of Notre Dame, just know it's because I forgot my tripod and I'm trying to make sure that I fit into this angle. Anyways, um, we are here in the office. They have like a little, in the office that I work at, they have a little conference room. So I decided that why not film here today? Um, you guys already probably saw from the title of this video. Today we are talking about macros. So what are macros, right? So macros are short for macronutrients. And now they are, we need two types of nutrients, the macronutrients and the micronutrients. Now, macronutrients, this video is just on macronutrients. We can do another video on micronutrients later. But there are three main macronutrients that you need in order to survive. And that is, let's do it in this color, fat, protein, and carbs. Alright, so these are the three. I know you guys have heard it all over the internet, all over social media, everything. These three fats, protein, and carbs. Now, they are all very, very important. And um, a lot of people like to omit carbs in their diet and yeah, they'll lose weight because at the end of the day, um, let's say you're eating uh, 1800 calories and you're omitting carbs from your diet and you're down to, I don't know, let's say 1700s, right there, you're in a deficit. So you're gonna lose weight. However, that is not ideal to just omit carbs unless you have some type of um, medical issue that you cannot have carbs, that's a whole other story. But carbs are very, very important. They are what gives us the energy to do our daily functions. Without these three, your body will not be at its optimal level. So this is why all three of these are important because your body will function how it needs to when you've got all three of these. Now, when you're dieting, um, I know that a lot of coaches like to throw around to have this much carbs, have this much protein like in your macros and you're kind of like, what? If you get a coach and they're like, okay, these are your macros and they tell you something like 35 grams of fat, uh, 200 carbs and uh, 140 protein and you're like are you just getting these numbers and throwing them away no this is how they come ideally again every person is different what I like to do is I like to have my clients write down for about a week or two not even maybe like three to four days what they're eating it doesn't matter if it's garbage all the time or not, just to kind of know what calorie range they are in. And then from there we can go depending if they want to uh, gain muscle, lose weight, etc. So now, um, each fat, all right, is nine grams per kilogram, right? So they are the densest of the macronutrients and they have the most calories. These two are four. So that's kind of like, uh, let's say that something that you order, that you find at Publix is 200 calories and then it breaks it down to the fat, the carbs and the protein. Well, that's kind of how you would get it. So let's say the fat is 2.5, the carb is nine and the protein is 80. I don't even know if those numbers work, so don't, like, it's probably not going to add up to 200, but just so you kind of get an idea, and then it would be, um, that's where you get the nine from. So, and that's how they come to that conclusion. Now, ideally, for fat, you should have about 0.35 to 0.45 grams of your body weight, so per pound. 
all right? Then protein is about 0.75 to one pound, to one gram per pound, all right? And then the rest is what you get in carbs. And that's kind of how, how coaches like myself, we figure out where the carbs and the protein is. So it does have to do with your weight. Um, and then also there's other factors in there, level of activity, your age, all that. But for the basis of it, just so that you understand, this is how much you should be eating. Um, and then kind of how you do the whole calculations. I can do another video on this if you guys want, or um, I can actually, I think I'm gonna have a worksheet for you guys that you can click on the link below and then that'll send you directly to the worksheet so you can kind of see how uh, you can calculate your macros and um, I could even help you do that so you can just send me a message or um, send me a, a, leave a comment down below in order to get this. Um, so that's basically the gist of it, like fat, protein, and carbs. Um, do you need macros in order to lose weight? The truth is that you don't. However, if you want to be really successful, I would say yes, because you can just, I mean, you can just eat, you know, your lean meats and your lean uh, proteins and your veggies and your complex carbs and you can lose weight, but unless you know the calories and the amounts of everything that you're consuming, it's kind of hard to kind of like change things up, like if you want to lose weight, where do you start going down, you know? So it's just a great way, if you're very like visual like me, you can kind of see where you're at. If you're at 1800 calories, let's say, and you want to drop, then you know that you got to go down to like 1750, all right? And then another thing that's very important to mention is that if you're doing these macros by yourself and you don't have a coach, uh, you don't want, let's say you start at 1800 calories and or whatever you're, you calculated that your macros should be, keep it there for about two weeks. Two weeks is ideal if you're consistent and you hit your macros every single day. That is a good way of, sh of saying, okay, I haven't lost anything. I've just hit a plateau. So let me change something up with my macros. Let me decrease it a little bit. But if you're changing and it's been like three months and you're still with the same um, macros and you're losing weight or you're you know hitting PRs at the gym and you're happy with how you are, you do not need to change your macros. There's no set rule that says every week you have to change your macros. As a matter of fact, the goal is to be able to eat as many calories and have as much carbs as you can but still losing weight. So if you're like, having 500 grams of carbs, okay? And I don't know, 40, uh, 80 of fats and 300 protein, and you're losing weight, good for you. Like that's what you wanna do, you know? Because then there might be people who are at 80 grams of carbs, uh, 100 protein and like uh, 30 fat, and they're not losing. So each person, is individual to these macros. Uh, if you have any questions, like I said, just feel free to leave me a comment below. I'm gonna leave um, a link in the description box so that you can kind of get a mic, uh, macro guideline and calculate your own macros. Again, if you're starting off in this, I know that now the new year, there's a lot of newbies, which I completely and totally give you two thumbs up because it's amazing that you're taking initiative. However, I would suggest that you kind of hire someone for guidance. It doesn't necessarily mean that you need to be with them through the long run, but just kind of guide you. And because I remember when I first started with macros, I had no idea before I even thought of becoming a nutritionist or a, a coach. I had no idea what a macro was. And I was like, this is so confusing. So they can kind of guide you and lead you in the right direction. And then um, you can kind of just do it off on your own if you want. The main idea, I think for macros or learning about macros is learning how to eat and what you're eating. My biggest pet peeve is that so many people think that peanut butter is a protein and it's not. It is completely a fat. If you look at the macronutrients, 
the fat is going to be the highest. So it's not a protein. So that's kind of something that you can learn. And you know that chicken is not a carb, you know? To me, it might seem like, oh, you don't know chicken's a carb, but there's people that really don't know. Oops. Um, chicken is not a carb. It is a protein. So that's kind of what it teaches you to eat. And, you know, um, let's say that now for the holidays, you know that you're having your uh, Christmas Eve or how we say in Miami, Noche, Noche Buena uh, food at night. And you know that you're going to just be bombarded with rice and beans and all these carbs. So if you kind of know the macronutrients, then you know, okay, during the day, I can have a lot of protein and some fats. And my lean veggies, you know, like broccoli, green, um, green beans, uh, lettuce, celery, all that stuff with protein. And then once the night hits, I kind of know, okay, I can have my carbs because I've accumulated. Not saying that this is the best way to do it and not to do it every day, but just to kind of stay on track for the holidays. And then you would kind of just have all your carbs at night because you know that's what's coming. So it's kind of a good way, as opposed that if you thought you know, peanut butter was protein, you'd be having that all day, and really what you've been having is fat. So it kind of teaches you, um, if anything, if that's something that you get out of this, is that it teaches you how to eat, because I think that this is a lifestyle. I've said it till I'm blue in the face. It's a lifestyle, not a diet. You're not gonna be eating asparagus and tilapia. Lord knows I did for a very long time, and now I can't stand tilapia. So you don't, you're not gonna be eating like that every single day. You want to know that you can have, you know, what's good for your body, what's going to keep you healthy, what's going to make you feel good, but then you might have a craving and you go ahead and do it. So it's something that's sustainable to you. Having fats, no fats for the rest of your life, is that really sustainable? Do you think you can do that for the rest of your life? I'm sorry, no carbs. Carbs, not fats. Do you think that's something that you can do for the rest of your life? Think about that. Food for thought. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you can see and that this was not like me pointing at nothing. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't done so. Subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.